let's see, where are we going? Sandwich Monopoly. Yeah, I mean, this is the problem. I, I, I guess I didn't have enough stuff on the wall. That, that always gets a lot of people uh, interested. But uh, Sandwich Monopoly. So um, there is a private equity company uh, called, um, uh, funnily enough, Roark Capital. And it's called Roark Capital not by accident. It is explicitly named after Howard Roark. If you go to Roark Capital's website, you will find uh, some reference to the Fountainhead. So this is uh, uh, one of the founders of War Capital is a huge Fountainhead uh, fan. Um, anyway, War Capital is, is, uh, has just bought uh, Subway Sandwiches. Um, they also, it turns out, uh, own a, a bunch of other sandwich shops. Uh, they own, for example, Arby's, uh, Jimmy Jones, McAllister's, I've, I don't know McAllister's, McAllister's Deli, and Schlotsky's. And Elizabeth Warren is uh, up in arms. Clearly, it, it, this list provides raw capital uh, with a sandwich monopoly. They control the sandwich space. I mean, it's true there's some other delis and a few other sandwich stores, but very few chains um, uh, of the size and magnitude of, of the ones that raw capital already has. And, and this is horrific. Uh, this is going to drive prices up because that's what monopolies do. And at a time of inflation, Elizabeth Warren is very concerned for consumers of sandwiches. Um, the, uh, you know, uh, uh, just so you realize that this is serious, the FTC... Uh, uh, Lena Khan's SDC, FTC, Lena Khan being uh, the, the lady who hates Amazon, uh, is uh, investigating. They're investigating Roar Capitals, uh, and they might not approve this particular purchase. I think this will be a first in the history of the FTC in going against a, a, a purchase of a sandwich shop or any, I think, fast food shop. Uh, of course, this brings to the forefront a lot of questions. Uh, among them, very, very importantly, is what is a sandwich? Uh, for example, I mean, there is serious discussion right now about is a hamburger a sandwich? Because, I, I, I mean, let's face it, if a hamburger is a sandwich, then then this is then clearly there are other you know the big hamburger chains that work capital does not yet own and then on top of the question of whether a sandwich a hamburger is a sandwich is a hot dog probably not a sandwich these are these are difficult ones i mean is a hot dog a sandwich there is a bun there is meat i mean maybe and and in that case there's certainly no one not and a burrito sandwiches Mm, now we're stretching a little bit, right? Uh, you know, so, so what is a sandwich? Tacos? Are taco sandwiches? What about all the taco trucks? Are, are they sandwich stores? Are they competing? Uh, is this, is this, is this uh, an issue? And then what about the fact that uh, uh, grocery stores sell sandwiches, convenience stores sell sandwiches, coffee shops sell sandwiches, the non-chain delis, lots of them, particularly in New York, it, 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 does they count? Do, do is the category particular sandwiches, two pieces of bread with uh, deli meat in the middle, not hamburgers uh, that are not sold by? I mean, how, I mean, this just this is just the arbitrariness, the subjectivism, the complete randomness, the 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 the, the, the FTC and Elizabeth Warren's complete power lust wanting to control every aspect of our lives. It, it is just absurd and ridiculous. But this is the essence of antitrust. This ridiculousness of defining sandwiches and what it involves and what it entails and all of this is just an illustration of the absurdity and ridiculousness in every antitrust case. It just... Sandwiches is just something it's easy for all of us to relate. But the same argument about how ridiculous this whole thing is 
is expressed in many other, many other, in, in pretty much every antitrust case, the same subjectivism, arbitrariness, and so on. 